In this solution demonstration, we'll discuss Zendu Maintenance as a solution to help you better manage your maintenance in your company. Let's first start by reviewing an agenda of what we'll be discussing here in this demonstration. First, we'll discuss what Zendu Maintenance is, why it's needed, we'll talk about Geotab Diagnostics and how it communicates with Zendu Maintenance, and how the solution bridges the gaps between telematics and other CMMS softwares. We'll discuss the features as well as the integra Geotab integration features, uh, benefits, costs, and getting started. So what is Zendu Maintenance? Uh, it is really a complete turnkey solution to manage your maintenance. Uh, one of the challenges we often face with uh, managing maintenance uh, by just looking at the odometer is there's no facilities for work order management, parts and inventory uh, management, as well as purchasing. So we're bridging all components of managing maintenance uh, that includes parts and supplies. Um, so why is it needed? And these are kind of questions to ask yourself uh, and to identify a need. Uh, one is to manage cost accounting responsibilities or crown maintenance. And unless we have costs and associate these costs with assets and with uh, maintenance staff, uh, it's difficult to kind of roll up and better understand where your maintenance costs are going. Um, understanding if you have multiple shops and you have a maintenance manager who's managing across different shops, having good oversight uh, in those areas, uh, as well as looking at uh, how your maintenance schedules are, are, are look like and if the procedures are not followed. So we'll talk a little bit of how to set procedures. We'll talk a little bit about repair history and tracking. We'll talk about uh, you know how to improve coordination amongst different teams, uh, reactive and proactive attitudes. Um, you know, of course, right now a lot of you know our maintenance is done is when there's a breakdown. So defining how you can build more proactive approach to maintenance management. Um, and a belief that maybe you're too busy to learn new software. We'll kind of talk about how this kind of saves some time. Um, and parts, if you're having consistently having a problem with parts management, this solution will definitely assist you uh, with the parts management component. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Geotab Diagnostics. So within Geotab, uh, you know, we're pulling a lot of great engine data information as well as engine faults. Um, now, taking this information one step further, uh, we want to be able to assign and understand uh, when these faults uh, should be created into work order. So uh, we'll, we'll look at that and how, you know, if we have a fault, essentially what you need to do is you need to uh, see a fault and assess in your head, is this something that needs to be prioritized and create a work order around that. So we'll talk about how to streamline that process. We'll also talk about right now we also manage reminders potentially in Geotab. And one way to kind of streamline that process is, is to create a work orders around uh, maintenance rem reminders and, and associating maybe parts around that, maybe associate processes around maintenance reminders. Um, so bridging the gap between CMMS software, CMMS software is of course rely on users updating stickers from stickers, uh, you know, let's say uh, what the oil changes need to be changed at. Um, it'll require users and drivers to constantly give updates to the manage, maintenance managers and maintenance users to update the odometer in the CMMS softwares. So with Geotab, you know, we are obviously collecting all this information uh, wirelessly directly through the, ge the diagnostic port. Uh, so when we collect faults, an odometer, engine hours, PTO information through the diagnostic port, this information is automatically streamlined into Zendu Maintenance. Um, and we'll talk about some of the core integration features, then I'll we'll talk a little bit about the overall Zendu Maintenance application. So one, um, you know, you have a nice interface to kind of see at a high level what your work uh, maintenance looks like from work requests, open work orders, how, how well you're complying with the schedule and deadlines you've set for your maintenance, how many work orders are over, do you with the backlog of maintenance? Is, is it something I need to potentially outsource my maintenance because I'm past my backlog? So these are areas to focus on. Um, another part of the integration is sending DVIR work orders directly into the solution. So 
my drivers are doing pre and post trip inspections and they say, Hey, there's a problem with the brakes. I'd like to see that, you know, if you want to see that turn into a work order for your maintenance staff, this solution allows you to do that. And I'll show you a little bit of that as well. Um, so directly from a driver's mobile device, he can mark a defect and that defect would then show on a, on, a, on, on Zendu maintenance for work order management. Uh, additionally, um, vehicle management, um, you can look at uh, what the actual metering events are on the a specific asset. So tire pressure, coolant temperature, odometer, engine hours. Of course, this information is dependent on what GeoTab device can collect off the vehicle's computer. But this information is automatically synced up uh, every hour uh, throughout the day and sent directly to uh, to Zendu Maintenance. And also you can see here faults that appear in GeoTab are also sent to Zendu Maintenance. Uh, on here you can also have some other features that Zendu Maintenance offers which we'll talk about in terms of parts, warranties, uh, and you can manage that completely in the solution. Um, talking about work order management and of I'll dive into each one of these uh, in the demonstration here. But talking about work order management, um, you can manage your work orders. It's an open work order, and you can see the work order is for rear light broken, needs to be replaced. Um, I'm saying this is damaged, high priority, scheduled completion. This allows me to schedule that, assign that maintenance work order to a user, and also a defined number of hours. So now I can set that, that that user would get an email, or it can go to their mobile application where they can manage the hours and the actual time to complete that. There's also work instructions I can define or labor tasks I can define for this work order. Uh, for the work orders, if a uh, user is completing it, they can add parts to the work order. We'll dive into that in a little more detail as well. Uh, on the vehicle management side, um, we covered that here as well. Um, so overall, just summarizing the key integration features. Um, the engine measurements can be used to schedule maintenance work, work orders. So odometer, engine hours can be used to generate work orders. Uh, vehicle faults from Geotab can be sent down as work orders. Driver vehicle inspection reports also create work orders. Um, and you can set up a trigger events based on engine status information. So voltage goes below 10 volts, creates a work order. Um, key benefits. So we're going to avoid emergency repairs by being more proactive with our maintenance. We'll eliminate manual entry by not having the drivers to give odometer information on a regular basis, and often that fails. Uh, and you're going to be empowering your maintenance staff to complete work orders and get better reporting. So those are the key features. Um, to get started, uh, you simply have to email us. Um, there's just a user fee as well as a monthly fee for the service uh, for each unit. Um, but let's dive into a little bit more detail on the maintenance application. I'll give you a, a live demonstration here. So here I'll give you a quick little demonstration of Zendu Maintenance. So we're logged onto a customer database and it's a web page, uh, web portal, uh, very similar to my GeoTab. Now it's a separate login, so you can the maintenance users would be logging on here. They don't necessarily need to be the same users as uh, my GeoTab. Uh, but on here, as a maintenance manager, I could potentially see you know all my work requests, open work orders, what the backlog of work orders is if I'm putting all my hours on each work order, um, and what the schedule compliance, just as we we're talking about. So let's have a look at some of those work orders. So you can see uh, some of the work orders that I've defined here. Um, and you can kind of take a look at some of these work orders. Priority levels I can assign. I can assign it to asset. I can assign it to user. Define a status and define a, a type of work order. So let's create a new work order here. And you can see I can easily pick from my list of assets. And these assets are automatically synced with GeoTab. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about how those assets come in here. But I can define a maintenance type. I can define a priority level. I can even summarize the issue as well. All right, and you can send in work instructions, assign it to a maintenance user, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then, and then the maintenance user will come back and complete this. But you can see there's a lot of details with respect to cost accounting, defining solutions, 
defining labor tasks. Now you can add, um, you can certainly create uh, work ta work order tasks around, let's say, regular type events. So PM inspections, you can create a task group for prefer PM inspections, which maybe include multiple tasks. So it's a very nice organized management system. If you're consuming a part for managing this work order, let's say I've just used up the wiper blades, I can kind of look for the wiper blades on this and it'll give me my location of the wiper blades. And I can use it and consume the parts. Additionally, I can see the meter readings on this asset that I've looked at and to find some other components here as well. So that's how I could create a work order from scratch. Uh, I can also define work orders based on scheduled maintenance. So if I have a you know, regular event, I can define it based on triggers. Uh, and it'll, you can have it very conditional formatting based on all triggers or any trigger. But let's say, for example, I want to do this based on time. You know, that's easy enough. But if I want to do it based on a meter reading, of course, I can pull all the meter readings I'm pulling out of GeoTab. Tire pressure, temperature. Um, so if it, you know, again, to going back to um, uh, voltage here, um, we can take a look at voltage is um, below, below a certain amount, or let's say uh, odometer reading is every thousand miles. Um, and you can you can kind of take a look fixed schedule floating schedule um, and you can put other kind of addition, interesting conditional formats here nice way to look at so if my do it for every thousand miles but but maybe once it gets above uh, sorry a thousand every thousand hours and once it gets above let's say 10,000 hours do it every 500 hours you maybe want to do more regular maintenance at certain events um, the event triggers will allow you to do um, other component, other events based on GeoTab diagnostic uh, readings. So you can define, um, you know, the transmission oil temperature. Maybe I can also define, so if I have an oil tr transmission temperature fault, I can define what part I need to fix for this. So if I know that the oil change comes up, I'm going to consume this part, right? So they're very flexible in that interface, allowing you to do multiple components here. Uh, and all you need to do is click on Save uh, to better manage that. Um, let's have a look at the assets. Under the assets, I'm syncing up the assets as well, including location, some of the other information I'm pulling from GeoTab, uh, metering events I'm pulling directly from GeoTab as well. Uh, and on these assets, I can pull, I can add warranty, things about purchasing, supplies, um, et cetera, et cetera. For my supplies, such as my, let's say, um, oil filters, uh, I can easily add parts and in inventory to this to the solution. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's create a, let's add another part. Oops, well, it's the wrong screen here. So let's add another part. So we're going to parts and supplies, add a part, and you can label it. You can print out the actual um, barcode, which you can apply and use that for your uh, inventory management, you can define location, departments, make a model. So this is, will do your complete inventory and costing controls. Uh, the parts can obviously have warranties associated with them as well that you're using. You can manage your current stock. If you have bill of material associated with a larger piece of uh, machinery, you can define bill of materials. Uh, this will also do some planning for your purchases as well. So if you're on st low, in, low in stock, it'll kind of help you define what stock you need and what the total uh, cost of your inventory is. So these are key components. Uh, we can go into more in-depth demonstration. Uh, I want to also highlight that the reports are very powerful in terms of rolling up costs associated with uh, facilities, assets, uh, work order types based on, you know, you can understand who are your worst and, and best uh, maintenance staff by knowing how long each worker takes to complete different styles of, uh, of work orders or different work order types such as PM inspections. So these are just, a, this is just a kind of a taste, high level view of Zendu maintenance. Uh, again, for more information, uh, you can contact us. And again, the contact information is displayed right here. Uh, so thank you.